<clears throat> Looking to the north. Looking to the east. <clears throat> Looking to the south. And looking to the west. And our current temperature at 7.30 a.m. Welcome in all my friends. Lazy Retired Granny here. Today is Monday, July 17th, 2023. The time is 7.33 a.m. here in kind of cloudy Salem, Oregon. I am continuing my journey on the Huacan butterfly. It has 35 colors along with five ABs, which stands for Aurora Borealis which is a solid color drill with a rainbow coat that gives an opalescent shine on the surface. Yeah, I finally got smart and got my um, pen out, or pencil, I mean, uh, to put down the... Um, ABs because I was having a little bit of a issue with using my regular pen. Then you get the pencil out. So, gotta put some hand cream on. Oh, my hands are so dry. I think it's because of all the cleaning and um, handling of boxes and papers and all that the last few days. My hands are tend to be dry anyway. I use a lot of hand lotion that doesn't always help. So, yeah. So, how's everybody doing? Now my hands are going to be slick. So yeah, I just got super tired last night and Ellie and I went to bed at 7 o'clock, fell right asleep, and I slept until 4.30 this morning. Yeah, I think exhaustion just overcame me. <laughs> so, wow, nine hours. Uh, yeah. So, let's see. Where am I at here? So, I'm going to try to get this whole middle section done today. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Always have big plans and then they fizzle out. But I think the only um, project I'm going to do today I need wax on here. That's what the word I wanted, wax. My pencil waxer. Only thing I could think of was glue, and I knew that was wrong. So anyway, um, yeah, the only thing I really want to get accomplished today is cleaning out my junk drawer. That won't take very long. Just need to get it organized again. I haven't had any of my wax melts 
going the last, oh my gosh, probably two months. Generally, when I have the door open, I, I don't have the sense going because, yeah, when you got the door open, it's kind of hard to really get the full effect of a scent. But, Jen, I have been using my electric warmer. And, oh, look at that drill. That one's no good. Um, but then I also have the ones where you use a tea candle. And when I was going through all my boxes, I found those... Um, Sorry, I'm looking for bees. Um, and you're probably screaming at me. You missed one, you missed one. It's right there, right in front of you. But we know how that goes. Okay, I don't see any. Um, and if I missed any, that's okay. I'll get them on the second time around. Um, but anyway, I found my wax melt holder that you use the tea candle with. And so I got it out. And I had the door closed because I had the AC going. And um, so I fired it up. And, you know, I think using the tea candles throws the scent better than using the electric one. Disclosure, just my opinion. Not everybody will agree with me. <clears throat> so anyway, yeah, and it smelled so good in here yesterday. I think it was a, I can't remember which one I had going, but it was kind of a baking cookie smell. Must have had some vanilla in it. Okay, I want to talk about this <clears throat> peacocks that you have to pay ten dollars a month for for no commercials. So yesterday. I thought, I'm going to see what's all on there because I really don't watch that channel a whole lot. And it was free before, and of course now you have to pay for it. But, so, if you, I went on to some of the channels that they had, and it had commercials. And it's like, so I'm paying $10 a month and still get commercials. And I know it said that some programs had to have commercials. But, yeah. And anyway, I'm scrolling through stuff. And there's really what I would watch. I can watch in my 30 days. And then I'm going to cancel it. I'm not going to pay $10 a month for something that I don't watch that much. Just my opinion. Disclosure. Um, 
Does anybody else have Peacock Plus? Yeah, I um, share Netflix and hmm, there's another Disney and oh man, another streaming service with with my son and. So that's, you know, I don't have to pay full price because we share. And I'm not a big TV watcher. So if I was a big TV watcher, I suppose those streaming services would be worth it to me. getting too complicated anymore to to uh, I don't know why can't there just be oh, I don't know it was so simpler in the olden days you had five channels to watch and I know that sounds boring now, but there's just not a lot out there. I just don't like current programs. I only have a few that I watch. Um, and they're all on CBS, which we have the premium service to watch. I forgot what I was doing. 14 A's. Um, But yeah, we have whatever that streaming is, is what we have. So I can watch the, I watch Blue Bloods, Young Sheldon, and Survivor. That's it. I love British TV, so I do... have one streaming service that is British and every once in a while that's Acorn TV and every once in a while I will get a subscription to BritBox just so I can get caught up on what shows they have but once I watch whatever I want I can usually do it in a month because there's, I just, like I said, I'm not a big TV watcher, so. So I subscribe for a month, watch what I want, and then unsubscribe. For a while, and then I go back and I subscribe again. This is too big of an area. I shouldn't have done this big. I have problems when I do bigger squares. I guess I was feeling um, like I could handle it. I miss a lot when I do bigger squares. But that's okay. I can always go back and do them again. So I'm going to listen to more records today. So, 
I'll give you another update if you're interested on what I like and what I don't. I don't know what's in that stack, so it just, you know, it's a mystery to me. Whatever is next on the stack, I listen to and see what I like and what I don't like. I usually know by, you know, the first few songs, if I'm just not grooving along with it, yeah, it goes in the thrift store pile. I got a loan drill here. I don't know where it goes. I've been looking for it. Oh, the sun's coming out. Money from the sun. I'm getting into the exciting part on this on this canvas. Um, this is the butterfly, and then this part of that glass I don't know if it's a glass ball or it's supposed to be like a bubble you know how when you do bubbles they ref if, they, if you're in the Sun they reflect a, have a reflection to them And this is the butterfly just coming down to see what it is before it pops. Or it could be a some type of glass. This painting is so pretty. Yes, yeah, Sylvia, I watched her video this morning, and she un unboxed um, Craftably, Starry Night, which I thought, oh, that reminds me a lot of the <laughs> one that I was gifted from from uh, Tia, Tita, excuse me, um, on the Starry Night from Diamond Art Club. The, similar, you know, this one that she unboxed, oh, I can't remember how many ABs it had, and then it had some special drills. Yeah, it was really pretty. I really liked it. You guys know me. I like the landscape. You know, there's other ones I like too. So I mean, I'm not exclusive to landscape, but <clears throat> you don't want to be. Or I don't want to be doing the same kind of painting over and over and over again. A little spice in my life. And let's see, what else did I watch? I watched Bago Day. She had some unboxing, another unboxing that I watched. Or, uh, no, it wasn't an unboxing. It was a yarn review. And not that I'm really interested in it. I just enjoy her. I enjoy her company and what she does on YouTube. And I watch...
watched Naughty Nitwits, which they are from the Portland area. I've been watching them for years. And theirs is a yarn podcast. And not that I'm really into yarn anymore, but they're just funny. I mean, they do other, talk about other things than yarn. And it's just interesting watching what they're making and the ups and downs of knitting or crocheting. You're in the mood or you're not in the mood. Work from your stash or buy something new. Yeah, I really enjoy them. And the one gal, Michelle, they moved out onto a bunch of acreage that apparently um, that belonged to her, her, her husband's family. Anyway, they their ventures of moving there from the city, which she was not a country girl. She was a city girl. And how she's adapted to country life and having goats and chickens. I don't know what all they have. But anyway, her husband also has a YouTube channel that he has some um, farm equipment and stuff that he shows people and uh, projects that he does on their property. And he does a, a lot. Of stuff and not that I'm really interested in any of that but it's kind of cool to watch him and see what all he's doing on their property and the challenges that he's facing with trying to do certain things and yeah so I'll link their channels if you're interested. I mean, it's just entertainment. It's all it is, you know. It's just, I don't know. I don't know why it interests me, but it does. I guess because I've been following Naughty Knitwits for such a long and long time. And then her journey to moving out to the country. Because, you know, yeah, country life is a lot different than being in the city and having neighbors right next to you and it's just a different not that we here I mean we live in the country you know country rural I guess is what it's called um and we do have two neighbors right here on this and that's it you know I mean other than that it's not like in the city, but not that we have to do a lot of farm stuff that people do, but it's just a whole different environment. All right, I'm going to get my wax pencil out because these are the ABs. And these lay down a lot better for me now that I got my brain in order. I couldn't use this pencil when I was doing the squares. It just, it just was not working out for me. I was having a hard time because for me with drills, it's harder I feel like I have to press down harder on the drills and I was maneuvering them around a lot and I couldn't I just couldn't do it with this wax pencil so I wasn't using it and I was on that painting such a long time that I gotta get my brain wrapped around the um, round drills again and it's like duh why didn't you use that and 
Yeah, I just don't feel that I press down as hard with round drills. And like I said, it's easier to maneuver the round ones than it is the square. For me. Maybe not for everybody. And But we all know I like to do things the hard way and And I had to also switch trays I needed a tray that was um, a little bit taller For these, I don't know why. I don't know why what was going on with. I was having a hard time when I would shake the drills. They weren't fitting into the grooves real well. So I got out one of my other trays, and this is working out really good for me. If you do a painting from Hula Can, um, you may have a different experience. So yeah, not real exciting today. I am going to go ahead and water the grass today. It needs it. It hasn't been done since Friday. Just too hot, too early to get out there and scorch the lawn with water. Get sunburned. It was really breezy last night and just cooled down really fast. It was nice. I had the door open and getting that nice breeze in here. Well, my 30 minutes is about up already. Wow. That always goes so fast for me when I have you guys to talk to. So, let me know what you're working on. How's the weather in your area? So, thanks for stopping by. I'll be back. Uh, I'm going to go listen to some music. I have to watch the new Acorn shows that are on today. And then I'll probably be back. I'm going to be diamond painting while I'm listening to all that. So I will chat with you all later. Thanks for stopping by.